Hello everyone and welcome back to the Janu tribe, our new tribe for the new year. And we are back where we left off last time with our dear twins who are quite a departure from the many, many, many spotted suns that we keep having between our two starter creatures. Oh my goodness. So what was named Eve before, but we have renamed her Omi, is our starter female. And she and her mate, our starter male June, who is an amazing panda pattern by the way, have consistently had spotty baby boys and we got a little bit desperate there we were really worried we wouldn't have any girls the only child that they have had who is not a spotty baby boy is their daughter orchid and I actually think that even though orchid who is quite amazing she looks almost identical to her mother other than her paws are a little bit different I can't remember what kind of tail she has Looks like she has the normal fluffy tail, which is quite adorable. But Orchid originally was going to be a really dedicated berry collector and a nut gatherer. So far, nobody in the tribe has ever had any of the nuts from this tree. They have no idea that this tree, which I'm so excited to see because in some of our past tribes, we have not had a tree on the island, but this tree is going to be a new source of food and surprises for the Janu tribe. However, I was thinking Orchid would spend a lot of her time just gathering nuts, but the fact of the matter is she is one of only three females on the island. One female is Omi, our starter female, who is approaching the end of her life in four days. I think that's only enough time to maybe have two more babies max if I really pushed her to it and really kind of like pedal to the metal had her and June breeding. Um, but I'm just not sure if I would have any more luck than I've already had. I mean, look, um, out of five of the children that they have had together, four of them have been spotted males with blonde manes, which is kind of amazing on those odds. Thankfully, we ran into a wandering male pretty early on. So we had Koronu. And Koronu and his two children that he fathered before passing on have actually come in and it looks like they are going to save the family. We could have just continued to breed with a whole bunch of siblings among Omi and June's children, but it makes me feel really relieved to know that we have Navar and Doli, our two dear children, our two little dear twins down here, who will hopefully be able to step in and add in some new genetics and just keep the family growing and developing and healthy. So I'm very happy to see that they are getting ready to have children too. It's going to be a few more turns before they're old enough, but at least they're here. At least they're here and it won't just be a whole bunch of spotted males. I can't believe how many boys they've had. That's just amazing. But in any case, I'm going to have to think really carefully how many children I'm going to have Omi have or if we should just go ahead and leap right over to Orchid having children. And if Orchid starts having babies, who should she have babies with? She has B and G immunity, and let's see, she's a little bit too closely related to Omiri because he has B immunity as well. And we have A and F immunity with Kulo, thankfully. So I think that Orchid can be a good mate after all with Kulo, which is what we have been planning for quite a while now. And then she could also be a mate with Tanu, who has B and G immunity. Uh, or not. No, no, no. Tanu would be too immediately related. I have no idea why I may have thought that he was a good mate for her at some point. But yes, so it looks like Orchid and Kulo will actually be the two to have children together. And even though they're siblings, they should have healthy children because they have opposing immunity genes. So they won't repeat any immunity genes and they shouldn't have an unhealthy child. And the other thing that I do want to try to get rid of that hopefully Kulo will not pass on is his no paw. So actually, I think... Yeah, Omiri, oh, he also has no paw, so I really don't want to have no paw go through the family. So that's why we have nimble fingers as one of the immunity gene or one of the mutations we can pass on. Oh my goodness. But all right, yeah, I think I think we'll go ahead and we will should I breed orchid now? Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll wait and Omi should I have one more child with you and June? And just see if they're they're gonna have had nothing but spotty baby boys? I don't know. I think I think I'm okay with our two main starters having had as many babies as they have had. And I think I do wanna have Orchid go ahead and have a child. 
So we're gonna wait just a moment though because her mother Omi is currently sitting on the nest. We'll let Omi kind of step to the side over here. Yeah, and do a little bit of exploring just in a curious manner. I'm gonna have Orchid go ahead and collect up a whole bunch of berries. And I'll have her move next to Kulo. So she's a little bit closer to Kulo. We'll have her move over here. And she's next to one of the nuts. Wonderful. So she and Kulo can discover the nuts together. Um, I bet they'd be pretty excited about that. So we'll go ahead and get her pregnant this turn. And then Kulo can do a little more exploring around the grasses so that we can make sure no predators jump out and attack one of our only two females that are of breeding age once uh, Omi passes away. Whew, that's gonna be a little tricky. That's gonna be a little tricky indeed. All right, and then our other female is Dolly, and Dolly has really fun random genetics. She has awesome little frog feet. Thankfully, she has healthy eyesight and she has healthy blood, so two of the traits that I'm always really worried about with all of the new mutations that we can have are already gone from her genetics. We don't have short-sighted eyes, and we don't have to worry about her bleeding to death, and she's also a very good swimmer. So I actually want to let little Dolly go ahead and start exploring down here at this tide pool. She has the cracking ability because she has nimble fingers. So our little dear princess that we have here may get to start exploring and opening up some clams from along the waterway. And that's actually pretty funny because did you guys know that deer actually do swim and they're very good swimmers? So that makes sense. It may seem a little odd to have a little deer child swimming, but deer actually are very, very good swimmers. And then we have Navar, her older brother. And Navar, would he be a good mate for Orchid, actually? No, they share bee immunity. Who would he be a good mate for? Ironically, Navar would be a good mate for his sister. Oh my goodness. So we have plenty of choices for mates for Doli. We've got all of the spotty sons that June and Omi have had. So all of the... Oh, they look like... They look like identical it's just hilarious they look like a little a little crew of soldiers almost they're not very good fighters they're so cute though oh oh my goodness all right so Dolly has a good choice in various mates so we'll have her go ahead uh, should I have her start exploring I don't want her to be unprotected let's send June over here and have him start clearing away these grasses and Navar I should probably keep Navar busy gathering up some berries I think he has and he does have cracking ability too so I'm going to send him over here so he can help gather up these berries because unfortunately all of um, Omi and June's children who are not orchid only have one ability they only have one collecting ability so yeah I think that Omi and June have had an opportunity to get the gene pool started but since their children can only gather up all those spotty boys I don't really know what they're very good at other than being cute because they only have one attack or they usually only have one attack and they usually only have one collecting and they can swim a little bit so they're not very talented in any specific direction other than being able to move pretty quickly so I don't think we need to go ahead and breed them all right we'll gather up these berries and then we'll have Dolly go ahead and gather up the last berries over here and then we will have Tanu he's got G and B immunity so he could actually be a good mate for Dolly uh, Tanu has been wandering around trying to find a mate of his own. He was very, very hopeful that he could perhaps stumble upon a female hiding in the grasses, but so far, absolutely no luck. So very sad for Tanu. Um, but he may go back, and I think that he may clear away these grasses and keep an eye on Dolly. And this might become Dolly's little perch, being able to see the shallows, being able to move quickly through the water, bring back some delicious clams, and maybe some really pretty seashells that she could gather up and use to decorate the nest. That would be so cool. Oh, I wonder if it would be fun if you could add like different nest perks or boosts to like things you could collect and put in the nest and maybe rogue creatures could steal them away or maybe the dodomingo on the middle island could steal them away or the or it might attract more predators. That would be kind of fun if you had like little nest abilities that change too. All right, so it looks like everybody is taken care of and everybody has had a chance to move. Let's go ahead and go to the next day. And Omi and June, there's a bunny! Omi and June are getting a little older, and Omri can at least pop over here 
and gather up some bunny meat. So that's a good thing there. So he's, he's good at collecting bunnies at least. I will admit that's helpful when you have a lot of quick movement speed and an open field to work in. It's also very odd to see this big open field and not have any digger paw. Do I not have any digger paw? We could put digger paw into the family, but I think we're okay right now. I don't think I want to have any mole creatures just yet. All right, and we're gonna have Navar collect up a little from both bushes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're at almost 100 food already. And Dolly, she's still kind of small, so I don't want to send her too far away from the nest without any protection. We'll have- <gasps> June, you just stumbled on another berry bush. Yes, that's wonderful. So we'll have June use up some of his very last elder days. Too bad none of his sons were born with the panda pattern. And that is kind of ironic that not a single one of them, they all had spots. They all had their mother's recessive spots of all things. Um, and no panda pattern. I don't even think they passed it on. Oh, Tanu did pass it on. <gasps> yes, maybe we will have some panda pattern children. That'll be exciting to see. So hang in there. Hang in there, June. We'll get your first grandchild born and we'll see if there'll be another panda patterned child coming up. That was so exciting to start with panda pattern. All right, and Tanu, um, you know what? I'm just gonna keep pushing him over here. There we go. So he has found the other nest and I was kind of hoping a female or anything would just, well, not anything, so not a predator, but a female would pop up out of the blue. But it looks like this island is kind of abandoned other than our little family. The pros of that are that we don't have a lot of extra creatures fighting for resources. And the cons of that are that we don't really have a lot of variability in, in meeting new creatures and having whole new traits just thrown into the, the tribe, which is quite fun. All right, so Kuro, he's got really good movement and he's not really good at anything else, but he can collect up a little bit of, um, he can collect up bunnies at least, and he can collect up some berries. So I might have him, I think I'm going to send him over here and he might help to sort of connect up and explore some of this area. All right, and I'm going to have Pregnant Orchid, who is going to have the very first grandchild of Omi and June, and maybe it'll be Panda Pattern. You never know how genetics will just throw us a, a bit of a twist, but we'll have her gather up the first nut and she'll be, ha she'll have been very excited about that, I think. Hmm, and gather up these berries and then into the nest she goes with her mother Omi watching over her as she's getting ready to have her very first baby and then her mate Kulo can come over and we'll have him continue to clear away all of the grass that's leading towards the tree so that it's safe and easy to pop from up in her nest down to the tree if she ever just wants like a little nut to snack on. So hang in there, Orchid. You might really change the family being able to have somebody who can just eat all of these nuts. They could be very, very useful. And I really love how the tree is right next to the pathway to the middle island. So we really, we may get a move on pretty soon, like I've been saying, just because there's, there's not really a huge island. There's not really a lot to explore. We've already conquered half of it, but that's okay. That just tells me that there's probably going to be a lot of intense challenges on the middle island. All right, so let's keep an eye on our deer twins and let's come back over here with Orchid and let's see what her first baby is going to be like. All right, Orchid. Boy or girl? <gasps> it's a girl! Oh my goodness, and she's so pretty! Look at her! She's got spots and green eyes and she's got B and F immunity, so she's healthy and she has big body too! Wow, what a whopper of a first child to have, Orchid. Oh my goodness. So this is Cola. And she is spotty. Let's see. And we have Kulo and Cola. I kind of want to name her after a nut again because we're next to the nut tree. And we're also like, she's the daughter of Orchid. Um, hmm. But at the same time, Cola works really well for her. Look, and she carries her grandfather's panner, uh, panda pattern. That's really fun. Oh my goodness. What would I name you? Pistachio? Uh, Pila? Pilo? 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 Hmm. Your mother is Orchid. Your grandmother is Omi. Let's name her Komi. We're just going to go with Komi. There we go. I like mixing up the names based off of their ancestors. Because then you remember. You remember, oh yeah, they're the child of so-and-so born on such and such. And that's really fun to me too. All right. And it looks like we've got two more days left on Omi. She's getting quite old, but at least she got to see her first grandchild born. Our very first green-eyed child with a big body. And thankfully, she does not have... Yes, she's got nimble fingers 
And look at that, three collecting, two strength, one cracking, three movement. So she doesn't have no paw. And the only thing that she has that I would love to see leave our gene pool is the hemophilia, but she doesn't have it as her active trait. It's just a recessive trait. So yes, all right, pretty healthy. And she's got a furry tail that's adorable and normal hind legs. I was gonna laugh if she ended up having froggy feet too. All right, so let's see. Is there something else I wanna start breeding in since we already have nimble fingers in? Oh, and she has big body. I had lean body in, so that was kind of a bit of a twist. Did we have big body as a recessive? We sure did. Where'd that come from? Is that from grandpa? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's from grandpa. I didn't realize that he had big body. All right, June, I'm proud of you. You go ahead and nibble some berries, little old man. And then I'm gonna have Dolly come down here now that she's a bit older. And, oh, there we go. She found her very first. Oh, she's so cute. She's a little deer frog at the tide pool. That's adorable. Oh, you can even see her reflection in the water. That's so fun. All right, so she's gonna start exploring along here and gathering up the clams that she finds. And we're gonna start moving Tanyu slowly but surely back to his family and his tribe and he'll just kind of pull back the grasses back here as he goes. He also has panda pattern as his uh, recessive pattern trait, so hopefully we can we can really make that shine. And then, now that I think about it, oh, yes, Navar! All right, so Navar, ah, oh, dang it, he does share one gene with Comey, so that may not be a good match, but it would be interesting just to maybe take the risk with them in the future and see if Navar and maybe Comey could have some very interesting looking children. So we'll have to see about that. So far, he's an excellent berry collector. He really has a great nose for how to gather up all the berries. And I'm very proud of him. I don't know why, but I'm just really, really, really attached to this little guy. Oh, and look at that. We've got the baby. We've got the brand new one keeping an eye on him. So maybe she's kind of attracted to him as well. So, all right, let's see what we can do. Orchid, let's have you come down. I'm gonna have, I'm actually going to go ahead and have him, let's see, maybe step over here as well. And I'm gonna have Orchid come over and she's gonna take just a moment to gather this and gather that nut. And then we'll get her pregnant next turn so she can have another child. I'm so relieved to see another female. Oh, Komi, you had no idea how, how desperately we needed you. Now we have a little bit more balance to the point where if we lost a female or two, we would probably survive. All right, and let's go ahead and have Omi do a little bit more just searching and spying on the grasses around here. Kuro can help out. And then we've got uh, Onri. And we'll send him down here and he can go ahead and gather up some berries. He's not very good at it though, so he'll help explore some of this grass. Oh, oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh, the grass is rustling. Oh, is that is that finally Ta Tanu, Tanu? Oh wow, I really zoomed in on you there, buddy. But have your dreams finally come true? Is that perhaps somebody waiting for you in the grasses? Oh, he's, he's dreamed of love, distant love that he could go and search out for and find for so long. Oh, that's so exciting. We'll have to see what that turns out to be. All right, and it's time for the next day. So let's settle in. So what is rustling? Please be a creature and not a, not a bunny. All right, Tanu, I don't like how it didn't move. Um, Tanu, I'm so sorry. It was a bunny. I know that's majorly disappointing to you, but does he want to chase it? I don't know. Tanya would make a good mate for Doli over here. Oh, and look at that. The little the little clam is hiding down inside of the tide pool. Oh, that's so perfect. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's everything I wanted. It's just adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and we'll have her go ahead and collect that up. And she's out of the water, so she's not going to drown, thank goodness. Now, she has A and E immunity, so Tanu would be a good possible mate for her, but so would her brother, ironically, uh, Navar, who has opposing immunity, and maybe even Omri? I think Omri might make a perfectly fine mate. I just worry about that no paw. I want to make sure we do not pass no paw on. So Tanu, you know what? I'm going to give you permission to go and just seek out your dreams and he's going to continue to explore for a second. He would have turned tail and he would have given up but then he heard rustling in the bushes at the last second and it reawakened his dreams of finding a mate in a distant land. I don't know if they're ever going to come true though. And poor Omi, she's probably worried about like that son of hers. All right and we'll have her step over here to this son of hers and Kuro can go ahead and help out with the berries and help out with clearing grass. 
Look at how quickly we've conquered this island. Everything is just so calm. And it still looks like a little bit like Australia to me more than anything else. All right, we're gonna flip it again. And then we have June. This is his last day as well. And we'll have him go ahead and gather up some berries and just relax, little old man June. And then over here, I'm going to move Navarre down here so he can gather up the maximum amount of berries right there. And I'm going to have Omri go ahead and clear away some of these mysterious grasses and then pop over here so he can do the same thing for this last little patch. And then finally, I'm going to have little Komi with the beautiful green eyes, which I think, now that I think about that, that's something pretty darn special that she's the only creature in the entire tribe with green eyes that's probably caught the attention of the Janu tribe and I'm gonna move her over if she had any children they'd have red mane very interesting I don't think wow I think that her children her son would be the only one with red mane and red horns oh my gosh if they if like her children had horns of any kind, antlers or horns, uh, ram horns, then they would have red all over the place. Komi, you're a little bit surprising. I'm going to have her step over this way, and then she can hopefully reach some of the nuts. If I put her right where her mother is right now, she can reach some of the nuts and the berry bush at the same time, which would be very useful. And then finally, I'm going to have Orchid snag this nut She's going to mate with her mate, uh, Kulo, and then she's going to jump into the nest to get ready to have her next child. Kulo is going to clear away that last mystery grass, and he's going to come over here. Wow, look at all the nuts, and he gave the tree a good shake, so now he's going to have his daughter, Komi, start frolicking around at his feet and gathering up all of the nuts that her father knocked down now that her mother has unlocked the secret of how delicious the nuts are for the tribe. So I'm really excited to see. Maybe we'll have, maybe we'll end up with another random female of some type, another random one born into the tribe. We're gonna have to see. I really, really was hoping for that. But at the very least, I have to admit, I really love Dolly, and I really love how she is just collecting at the tide pools. She's turned into quite a beautiful and very unique creature, so we might have her do a little exploring, and I would actually love to see her children. Maybe we will end up pretty early on with a whole bunch of swimmers, so we'll have to see, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!